Da, da, da. Oh, hi, welcome to my studio. I'm just here installing the brand new 30X 4K Move from PTZ Optics, which I'm super excited about. But one of the things as a solo producer that I've wanted to know is, can I toggle on and off the auto tracking with my Superjoy? As a solo producer, it's really hard to press all these additional buttons on different devices, like when I could do it right all in front of me. I got an answer for you. Can you keep a secret? You can. And I'm gonna show you how to do it right after this. Okay, this is really simple to do. The first thing you wanna do is you wanna log into your SuperJoy's web user interface. And you're gonna be greeted with the devices page, which shows all of your cameras on your network. The next thing you want to do is look along the top of the tab bar for the word custom. It's right here in this black bar area. You're going to click on the custom button. Once you're in the custom area, you're going to see custom one through four down the side, and you can even do custom add. Here you want to select the different types of triggers. We have a ton of different types of triggers that you can choose from. Super presets, UDP, TCP, UART, or HTTP. For this tutorial, we're going to use HTTP trigger. Now you can see I've already added the tracking on and the tracking off commands inside of the string. And I've also enabled toggle. And the reason for that is I wanted the ability. So when I press the button, it turns the tracking on. But when I'm done, I press the button again and it turns it off rather than taking up any additional custom buttons. Because if you have four cameras in your production, you need four custom buttons to enable and disable the move tracking. So if you look at my string, which you're going to see superimposed over the video, screenshot it, write it down. The only thing you're going to replace is my IP address that I have here. And at the end of the string, you're going to put on for the first one. So it toggles it on. And for the second one, you're going to change it to off. Same IP, same everything. You're going to click save and you're going to be ready to go. Let's go take a look. Okay, here we are at the TriCaster. You can see my setup here. I'm just going to simply, I'm going to press custom one. And now you're going to see the camera zooms back out and it's now going to track me inside of the video, which is really cool. So now I can just do a one button push to get it to track me if I have to do a demonstration. And if I want to get back to my normal position, I hit custom again, and then I hit my preset one, and it automatically brings the camera right back to where it was, ready to rock and roll for the production. I hope this tutorial helped you, and I hope you get a lot from it. Make sure you hit that like button, hit the subscribe button for more cool videos from PTZ Optics.